It's Perthshire. It's seven o'clock on a September morning, and we're going on safari. Okay, we're off now. Sandy is our guide. He's one of the most experienced gamekeepers here on the Athol Estates. There's beasts up there, you see. They all come up onto the skyline. I thought you'll maybe get a better view of them. Deer stalking is still an important source of income for sporting estates, but these days more and more of us simply want to watch these magnificent animals and are prepared to pay for the privilege. In just a few weeks' time now, this glen will be alive with rutting stags. One of the most dramatic events in Scotland's wildlife calendar will be played out right here. It's still early in the season, but look closely and it's clear to see the rut is almost underway. Battling stags, though, aren't the only attraction for visitors. Grouse, ptarmigan, eagles, plovers, hares. So they really get a, a great chance uh, to see and, and the views are fantastic. Tourism is an increasingly important part of our business and when you have something like that to maintain you really do need to make your assets work. The economic benefits of wildlife tourism are being felt across the country in this, the year of natural Scotland. Wildlife tourism itself is worth something in the region of £270 million pounds to the Scottish economy. So it is, it is big business. Natural Scotland is big business. He's a nice fella. <laughs> There's no big game, and this isn't the Serengeti, but there's plenty to see on a Scottish wildlife safari. David Miller, reporting Scotland, Perthshire.